He said that success was the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Anyone that has a goal and they're moving towards it, they're successful. <clears throat> Most people think that you're successful if you have a lot of money. Quite often you have a lot of money if you're successful, but it isn't. I wouldn't say Mother Teresa has a lot of money. Okay. You know, but she's a pretty successful lady. So it's... Um, Okay, so that barrier to success... Well, there's a, there's a couple of them. Okay. I think there's two barriers. One is our conditioning. The conditioning that takes place in our subconscious mind from the time we're infants. All we can do is act and talk like the people around us. That's why we learn the language we learned. If there was ten languages spoken in our home, we'd learn ten languages without any trouble. Hmm. There's usually one, and that's the only one we ever learn. And we grow older and we think, oh, I couldn't learn another language. We could learn a hundred if we wanted to. You can do anything. But I think we're conditioned. We have a, a real strong conditioning, usually with not some very good ideas. And then that, that's the, the, the barrier that's inside us. The one that's outside of us is our environment. We have a tendency to act like everybody around us. And if you think about this, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because if you study statistics, 95% of the people live their entire life and never live the way they want to live. Do you know that 95% of the population in this country, let's say in North America, okay. the richest continent in the history of the world, they'll work productively, let's say for 40 of their 65 years, okay. and they'll end up with hardly any money. Well, there's got to be something wrong. So there's not well, much. 5% of the people end up financially comfortable or independent. Are you trying to depress this, Bob? Because that's, uh... No, actually, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's quite an exciting idea because... You see, the idea behind it is that anybody can win, anyone at all. But if we start studying these statistics, I think we'll arrive at the conclusion, geez, I better start thinking for myself rather than follow everybody. Most people, they get a job, they look around, they see how everybody else is doing their work, and they start doing it the same way. Mm -hmm. They should stop and think, I wonder if any of these people know what they're doing. <laughs> you know, is there a better way to do it? But don't we have a need to fit in? I mean, we don't want to, we don't want to stand out, we don't want to get fired, we don't want to make waves. Uh, it, exactly. Exactly. Just fall into line, you know, take a number, be like everybody around. <laughs> now, that'd be great in the animal kingdom, I, but human beings aren't supposed to live that way. I think we should make a few waves. We yeah. should maybe stand out, be different. Not, not for the sake of being different, okay. but because we are different. We all think different thoughts. And I believe we should start to think and build images in our mind of what we'd like to do and then set out and do it. Okay, Emerson me... did that, Edison did that, Marconi did that, Samuel Morse did that, uh, Buckminster Fuller did that. We could go on and on and on. Okay. They were different. They stood out. They made a few waves. If you want to see a video of a young Les Brown that's fire, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan,